The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is my favorite breed of dog for several reasons. I find all puppies adorable, but a runt fighting for its life will often be everyone's favorite, which can make it even harder if the puppy doesn't make it. In this litter of puppies, we have a runt. Now, if you notice right here, we got one pup that's quite a bit smaller than the rest of them. And it's a little hard for her to get in there and get any food. I've already fed her because she won't, these pups will completely empty the mom out of milk and uh, there would be nothing left for her. So she gets to eat first. And so she's already eaten. But I'm gonna go back and show you the video footage of her eating by herself as we pull in one or two of these pups. But this goes through and shows you why we have to feed the runt by herself. Otherwise, she sits right here and she doesn't get any food and they would fade away. She would fade away. Having raised puppies for about seven years now, I've dealt with this a few times. I find it helpful to give the runt a separate feeding time from the other puppies. And we always feed the runt before the other puppies, not afterwards. The runt isn't going to drink enough milk to impact the other puppies. But it is much easier for the runt to get milk from a full teat than one that has already fed all of the other puppies. And the runt is already fighting twice as hard as any of the other puppies just to survive. And that right there is why we feed the runt separately. If we were to feed her at the same time as the larger pups, they would just push her right off the teat. They get quite aggressive, especially when they're all of them in there. And that little runt wouldn't get any food at all. But we give her opportunity without a whole bunch of other pups pushing her off and she does all right. This little runt is about four weeks old now and she's doing really well. I think she'll actually make it. It's amazing to see the size difference. Amazing to see it. But she's a fighter and she's surviving. As soon as this runt here has had enough milk that I feel comfortable bringing more dogs in, I'll put, I'll add the other dogs in one at a time. And I'll do that so that you can see how quickly they, those other dogs would actually push this runt away and see just really what the size difference is of having all of those dogs just shoving her off. It's, this is some beautiful dogs. They actually, the stud dog that we have is actually a descendant from a, the stud dog of the year in 2021. We've put a lot of money and a lot of time into getting good stock into our animals. If anyone out there is interested in getting a dog, I hope you'd contact us. We have several litters every single year. Everyone always wants the teeny tiny dogs. We take a look at these two dogs, and there's a substantial difference in size right now. But it'll surprise you when they both are full grown. That little one will be fairly close to the same size as its litter mates. It might always be a little bit smaller, but it'll be fairly close to the same size. Mommy, you're doing so wonderful. Taking care of our dogs. There's the normal size one, and there's the runt. Of course, we've got them separated right now because if we put all of them on there together, they literally will just absolutely dominate and then the runt gets nothing if we were to put all of the pups up there they push the runt off little guy with two of her litter mates nursing at the same time our runt is doing quite well there's plenty of teats to go around, and she's learned to fight for herself. She has to have done fairly well at that to have survived this long. But I'm going to continue to add uh, one pup at a time until we've put all of her litter mates up here with her. And we'll see how long it is until they completely push her off that teat. Now, if you guys can imagine putting all eight pups up here on this mama, and this little one right here wouldn't be able to compete. So I have to give her some feed time all by herself. 
Even though the primary focus of this video has been showing you our runt puppy and how we've been able to make sure that it gets fed and taken care of properly, I do want to take an opportunity to show you the other pups that we have also. These puppies are all raised in a home, handled every single day, and by the time they leave their mother and go to a forever home, they will be well socialized and make extremely good pets. If we were to add four more pups into there, this little one gets completely shoved off. Now, she's eating enough now, I'm not as concerned. But, uh, yeah. it's, and she goes and digs in. How long till this little one is right there getting nothing? And she's like, what about me? I want some too. What about me? I'm hungry too. Now you can see how fat her belly is because I've got her fed before I let them come. But her ability to get in there and get some on her own just is a little lacking. She's pretty aggressive to go after it, but she's pretty full right now. You take a look at her belly. So she's not really going to compete too much for it. But to give you a size comparison, I'm going to put her right on top of the others. And we'll add Gambit of them trying to get in there and feed. And what happens is they all go to town and little guy right here gets none. What a lovable little pup. It's hard to spend as much time with her as we do, giving her special meal times and not absolutely fall in love with her. She gets in here and you see her still going in and trying to get a little bit more food here. And you can see where she just continually gets pushed away. Anyway, if you guys have liked this kind of content, I sure would appreciate to get a thumbs up. I'd appreciate to get a subscription to the channel if you haven't already. And we'll go through and try to continue to provide good content and show off some beautiful pups, beautiful animals here on the farm. Even if we have to go in and create special mail times for her. Right here, we've just finished feeding, so she's got a fat belly and full, but she gets a little extra TLC. Time for a bath and then a nap. Anyway, if you guys are interested in getting a dog, and you think that a King Charles Cavalier might be right for your home, contact us. You see the full belly now? It's full. She's full enough, she probably couldn't eat much more. She just wants to curl up to mom and go to sleep. <laughs>